hello viewers welcome to my youtube channel in this video we are going to find the value of x that will satisfy this equation and we are going to consider two methods and approaches of doing so so the first method will be for us to directly insert these values of x into this equation and find the values of x that satisfies it most now the second method will be for us to solve this equation and find a general solution before inserting these conditions into the equation okay so we are trying to find out if what we are going to get using this equation and what we are going to get after solving this equation and obtaining a solution will be the same so without wasting much time let's get started so this first method is just about inserting this value so let's start with when x is less than or equals to negative one okay this one Let's go ahead and insert negative 1. So we're going to have a to the power of negative 1 minus 2 to the power of negative 1 divided by 6 to the power of negative 1 minus 3 to the power of negative 1 should be equals to 2. Okay? So let's concentrate on this. a to the power of negative 1 is the same thing as 1 over 8 minus 1 over 2. So 1 over 8 minus 1 over 2, let's find the LCM. Let's just multiply 8 times 2 is 16. So we have 1 times 2. We have 2 minus 1 times 8. 8, which is equals to negative 6 over 16. And 2 can go here. We have negative 3. And 2 can go here. We have 8. So we have negative 3 over 8. Okay? So the next step will be for us to consider this denominator. So we're going to have 1 over 6 minus 1 over 3. Okay. So let's multiply. 6 times 3, we have 18. 1 times 3, we have 3. Minus 1 times 6, we have 6. This is equals to 3 minus 6 is negative 3 all over 18. Okay. And 3 can go here once. And 3 can go here 6. So we have negative 1 over 6 okay so i have written it down here we have negative 3 over 8 and the denominator we have negative 1 over 6 so we're gonna have negative 3 over 8 divided by negative 1 over 6 should be equals to 2 okay so let's do this we're gonna have negative 3 over 8 times 6 over negative 1 should be equals to 2 okay so this negative can cancel this negative so you're gonna have 3 times 6 is 18 over 8. So if you divide it, 2 can go here, we have 9. And 2 can go here, we have 4. Okay? So this 9 over 4 should be equal to 2. But 9 over 4 is not equal to 2. So therefore, this first one is not one of the answers. Okay? So this is out of the line. Now let's consider when x equals to 0. So when x equals to 0, you're going to have, let me mark it, 8 to the power of 0 minus 2 to the power of 0 divided by 6 to the power of 0 minus 3 to the power of 0 which should be equal to 2 okay 8 to the power of 0 is 1 minus 2 to the power of 0 is 1 all over 6 to the power of 0 is 1 minus 3 to the power of 0 is 1 okay so this should be equal to 2 but we are now having indeterminate okay this is 0 over 0 so which is indeterminate and this is not equal to 2 all right so this is absolutely out of the line all right now the next thing is for us to consider when x is equals to 1 okay so let's go ahead and do that we're gonna have a to the power of 1 minus 2 to the power of 1 divided by 6 to the power of 1 minus 3 to the power of 1 should be equals to 2 okay 8 to the power of 1 is 8 minus 2 to the power of 1 is 2 divided by 6 to the power of 1 is 6 minus 3 to the power of 1 is 3 okay should be equals to 2 okay 8 minus 2 is 6 divided by 6 minus 3 is 3 which is equals to 2 6 divided by 3 is 2 which is equals to 2 okay so 2 is equals to 2 and this is correct so this is one of the solutions okay so let's consider this last one here we have x greater than or equals to 2 so we are going to consider 2 all right so you're going to have 8 to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 2 divided by 6 to the power of 2 minus 3 to the power of 2 should be equals to 2 okay 
a to the power of 2 is 64 minus 4 divided by 36 minus 9 okay should be equals to 2 right 64 minus 4 is 60 divided by 36 minus 9 is 27 okay should be equals to 2 but 60 divided by 27 is not equals to 2 so therefore this is not part of the solutions okay right now if you also consider when x is equals to 3 you will end up having 2.67 which is not also equals to 2 okay and that also shows that this is not one of the solutions okay so now having been done with the first method let's consider method 2 which for us to solve first before inserting those values so let's go ahead and solve this equation before inserting the value so this will be 8 to the power of x is equivalent to 2 raised to the power of 3 or raised to the power of x okay minus 2 raised to the power of x divided by 2 times 3 or raised to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x is equals to 2 okay so this can be written as 2 to the power of 3x minus 2 to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x is equals to 2 okay so let's continue on this part of the board if we take one of these here we have 2 to the power of 3x if we take one of these we're gonna have 2 to the power of x into 2 to the power of 2x minus 1 divided by we can factorize this we're gonna have 3 to the power of x into 2 to the power of x minus 1 which is equals to 2 okay so this can be written as 2 to the power of x into 2 to the power of x all squared minus 1 squared divided by 3 to the power of x into 2 to the power of x minus 1 equals to 2 okay so let's consider using difference of two squares here. So you're gonna have two to the power of x. Then we have two to the power of x plus one. Then we have two to the power of x minus one. All over. Then we have three to the power of x into two to the power of x minus one is equals to two, okay? Now let's consider this condition. If x is not equals to zero, because if x is equal to 0, this will become indeterminate, okay? But if x is not equal to 0, this can actually cancel this, okay? So now, let's continue on this part of the board. We are left with 2 to the power of x into 2 to the power of x plus 1 divided by 3 to the power of x is equal to 2, okay? So we can switch over this, all right? So you're going to have... 2 to the power of x into 2 to the power of x plus 1 divided by 2 equals to 3 to the power of x, okay? So, if you look at this, this is equivalent as saying 2 to the power of 1, okay? So, let's continue on this part of the board. We can have 2 to the power of x minus 1, this one that is here, okay? Times 2 to the power of x plus 1 is equals to 3 to the power of x okay so this becomes the general solution of the equation okay now we can insert these values x is less than or equals to negative 1 x is equals to 1 and x is greater than or equals to 2 let's insert these conditions to find out if we are going to have what we had before okay so let's consider when x is equal to negative 1 okay so we're gonna have 2 to the power of negative 1 minus 1 times 2 to the power of negative 1 plus 1 should be equals to 3 to the power of negative 1 okay so we're gonna have let's continue on this part of the board 2 to the power of negative 2 into 2 to the power of negative 1 plus 1 should be equals to 3 to the power of negative 1 okay 
So this is like saying 1 over 4 into 1 over 2 plus 1 should be equal to 3 to the power of negative 1. Okay? Now this is like saying 1 over 4 times 1 over 2 plus 1 is 3 over 2. This should be equal to 3 raised to the power of negative 1 is 1 over 3. Okay? So 1 over 4 times 3 over 2 is the same thing as saying 3 over 8 okay which is not equals to 1 over 3 okay so 3 over 8 is not equals to 1 over 3 that means this is not part of the solutions okay so let's consider when x is equals to 1 all right so we're gonna have x equals to 1 so we're gonna insert 1 here we're gonna have 2 to the power of 1 minus 1 into 2 to the power of 1 plus 1 equals to 3 to the power of 1 okay so we're gonna have 2 to the power of 1 minus 1 is 0 into 2 to the power of 1 plus 1 should be equals to 3 to the power of 1 okay 2 to the power of 0 is 1 into 2 to the power of 1 is 2 plus 1 should be equals to 3 because 3 to the power of 1 is 3 okay so 1 times 2 plus 1 is 3 this is 3 equals to 3 and this is correct so that means this is actually one of the solutions okay so right now let's consider this last one here here we are going to use when x is equals to 2 okay so let's go ahead and substitute 2 into this equation we're gonna have 2 to the power of 2 minus 1 into 2 to the power of 2 plus 1 should be equals to 3 to the power of 2 okay so we're gonna have 2 to the power of 2 minus 1 is 1 into 2 to the power of 2 is 4 plus 1 should be equals to 9 because 3 to the power of 2 is 9, okay? So 2 to the power of 1 is 2 into 4 plus 1 is 5 should be equals to 9. 2 times 5 is 10, but 10 is not equals to 9, okay? And that means this is not part of the solution, okay? So if you consider inserting any other values greater than 2, you will always have even number here okay it will always be even numbers and even numbers can never be equals to odd okay so that means any other value greater than two will never give you value that will equals to this okay because this will give you odd and this will give you even so even can never be equals to odd so that means this is actually out of the line so the only solution is x equals to one okay you can check out that what we have here is equivalent to what we had without solving so that means if you can easily insert those values here you will still have the same thing and if you can also solve to get to this point with before inserting the values you still have the same thing right now we have come to the end of the class i believe you have enjoyed the class and please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the notification icon for update on my videos thank you and goodbye